Let's start computer class. Open your books. On page number 44, lesson number 4, algorithms and flowcharts. In the previous class, we have discussed characteristics of an algorithm with an example. Today, we will discuss algorithm to calculate sum and average of three numbers. Let's discuss the objectives. Its main objective is to solve mathematical problems. Now, before we start, we should know input and output concept. We have the input in the form of the data and then we'll send it for processing and after processing, we will get information in the form of the output. We can see real life examples also that resembles input and output concept. Here you see we have the raw material in the form of input that sent to the sum factory. Let's suppose we have to make a cycle and we will send this raw material to the cycle making factory. After processing we will get the final product in the form of output. In the similar way we have the data that we send to the computer for processing. After processing, we will get the output in the form of information. Now look at your book on page number 45, example 2, algorithm to calculate the sum and average of three numbers. Now we will discuss this algorithm. Here you see in this algorithm, we have six steps to solve a problem. We have three numbers A, B, C. We have to find the sum of these three numbers and average of these three numbers. So let's start with the step one. Input first number that is A. Step two, input second number that is B. Step three, input third number that is C. In the step four, we will find the sum. To find the sum, we will apply formula a plus b plus c. So the step will be find the sum of three numbers a plus b plus c. To find the average we know we have three numbers. So we have to divide the these three numbers by three. So the step five will be find the average that is a plus b plus c divided by three. Step six will be print the average. So today we have discussed input and output concept and algorithm to calculate sum and average of three numbers. So practice this algorithm at home.